Hi, this is Paul Mullaney for NWI.com, and we want to welcome you to this special sports exclusive here. A little prelude to the Cal Ripken World Series to be held here at the Hammond Optimist Youth Sports Complex in Hammond. And with me here to your right on the screen is Tim Bell, the president of Hammond Optimist Youth Sports. And on this side, Doyle Godbelt, who is the executive chairman or chairman of the executive committee for the Cal Ripken World Series effort that has been going on here. And just wanted to let our viewers know what's taking place here starting August 9th at this complex. And, uh, and Tim, this is an effort that's uh, pretty complex. You have a lot of volunteers and a, a solid organization. Yeah, there's uh, probably about 30 people on our executive uh, committee that are all pitching in. And you'll probably, we'll probably use about 120 volunteers out here during the course of the tournament. So big organization, big team effort. A lot of effort, and Doyle, it, I know it didn't just start yesterday. It's been a number of years in the works. Maybe you can tell us a little bit quickly about the history of, of how this all came together. Well, in 09, we were invited to host the Ohio Valley Regional, and we were very successful with that. So National turned to us about a year later and offered the opportunity to bring a World Series here in Hammond. And uh, so the Ohio Valley drew teams from the Ohio Valley region, which is more close to home, and now we have the, uh, the national scene here teams coming from as far away as Honolulu, as close as Hammond and Crown Point. Yeah, absolutely. 4,255 miles. So we're looking forward to having them. And Doyle, part of your job uh, has been to get the community engaged uh, in this effort through sponsorships and through other efforts. Maybe you can talk a little bit about the different parties coming together. Well, you know, we've had some great help from the city of Hammond and then also the park department and other departments uh, within the city. The building trades have been a great help. The electricians union, uh, carpenters union, uh, uh, steel workers, iron workers, and then also MCOR Hire out of Highlands has been a big part of our campaign as well. The Optimist Club is always who we're named after. Uh, definitely has put their time and effort in. They're actually manning the gates and manning the program sales of this event. So that's taken some of the pressure off of us on volunteers as well. So, Tim, with teams coming, 10 teams coming from, like we said, from Honolulu to, to Boston and parts in between, what, what can we expect in terms of people coming to Hammond? Well, I think they'll come out and they'll be surprised at the level of uh, quality play from the teams. Uh, these are the best of the best uh, from across the United States at the 12-year-old uh, level. It's, it's very compatible to what, what Williamsport puts out in the Little League World Series. In fact, Little League will not play Cal Ripken uh, there's a national tournament after all the tournaments are done from all the independent leagues, and they won't play in it. And the reason is because they're afraid to get beat. Um, <laughs> Cal Ripken puts out a co very competitive uh, level of play. So they're going to see good baseball. Um, you're going to see uh, you know, different teams come in, different styles of baseball, I'm sure. We're going to see some teams. There's some big kids on some of the teams. You'll probably see uh, some power hitters. You'll see some uh, small ball played, base stealing, different things like that. We've got other activities out here uh, um, trying to make it uh, fun for all those that come out, different ages, different things that will be going on. So uh, got a little concert on opening night by Mary Mystica and friends, a local artist, and uh, just different things. We're honoring different people in the community. Um, I know uh, Monday night is uh, uh, Armed Forces and the veterans will be honoring those. We have uh, Mascot Day on Sunday afternoon. Uh, Rusty the, from the Railcats and the Oil Man and some of our own uh, Bulldog uh, uh, mascot and others will be out here for the kids. So should be a fun event for all ages. Very good. Now, Cal Ripken baseball has grown in this region in recent years. I know that uh, over the last decade or so, a number of, of leagues have joined the Cal Ripken fold. Doyle, can you want to talk a little bit about that? You know, Crown Point is one of those leagues. They were a little league up to about five years ago, and they decided to make a change, and that change has benefited them. They've been very successful from as little as 9, 10 years old all the way to 15 years old. I believe this year alone they've had three teams or four participate at Ohio Valley level, and now they've got this team that's advanced the World Series. And we should probably mention that Cal Ripken Baseball is the 12 and under arm of Babe Ruth Baseball, Inc., out of Trenton, New Jersey. Yep, that's correct. Yep, a few years ago they actually approached Cal Ripken. They wanted to develop, further develop the young program that was called uh, Bambino League, and so they got Cal Ripken involved, and they've uh, developed a very competitive a style of baseball for the kids. And Doyle, what should uh, any logistics the fans should know if they, anybody from the region or the, where else uh, they might be coming from? Anything they need to know in terms of coming to the ballpark? 
Yeah, one thing that's very important is the Columbia Avenue Bridge is now closed starting Friday, August 9th, which is our opening night. So they're going to need the access to park through Munster and Highland down Northcott Avenue, which on River Drive will take them right to our facility, and then also off of Calumet Avenue, which along, alongside Riverside Park will take them into Optimus as well. Our overflow parking will be at Riverside Park. So if they're going to arrive a little bit later, then normal, I would advise them to maybe come in off of Calumet because we may stop them and park them right at Riverside. And 26 games on tap, first pitch uh, Friday at 1 o'clock, and the opening ceremonies then at 6 that day? That's correct. Uh, 1 o'clock first game, we have games at 1, 2, and 3 o'clock on opening day. We'll be using two fields, and then uh, 6 o'clock ceremony, and then uh, 7.30 is the big game for Hammond Optimus uh, versus Midwest Plains, which is a team from Grand Forks, North Dakota. And uh, Doyle, your website for anybody who wants some quick information? Uh, 12U World Series Hammond.org. And right now they can actually go to the Courtyard Marriott from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., the one located right there uh, at the old Optimus Park facility by the Cracker Barrel right off the highway in Kennedy. And they can purchase tickets for the banquet and they can also purchase tickets for the games. And those are a simple $10 for one day. $20 for a tournament pass for an individual and 50 for a family of four. So we've tried to make things economically friendly as well. And also our fans, we can let them know here they're watching this on NWI.com. You'll be able to follow the action on our website and in the Times newspaper. And for full disclosure, I have to admit that, uh, let you know that I was a, a past, I am a past uh, board member out here at Hammond Optimist and uh, wanted to let you know, happy to be here. And gentlemen, good luck this week and look forward to having a great World Series. Thank you, Paul. Thanks, Paul.